Worlds and Harem is a not that bad of a softcore hentai that I was watching. You know, this is like my passion of watching this type of shit, but it's just like it goes to the extreme, man. I like besides, you know, the uncensored fappy nipple titties or whatever, you know, the plot is really solid and it not solid, but it's just like, come on, man. This is not this is so close to being a hentai that it's not a hentai. Like they literally that they took the show down when it first premiered his first episode because they needed a check like to keep it in check and they still um proceed to broadcast it more censor the nipple censor my my favorite thing about it the the, the, the titties man you can, everybody loves anime titties man it's just like what the fuck bro it's so ridiculous how you gonna do that man i'm a uh, everybody's a true man of culture because they they love seeing well well i'm not, I'm not gonna get into that or shit but like hey man worlds and harem is not that bad except like you know if people are yeah if people are really un um really um what is it what's the word i'm telling for not insecure but they're like a little bit weird out because of how much harem and e edgy it is and it's just like man you won't be able to enjoy it how as much as i am or like the rest of the people who enjoy edgy anime but you know for this one the plot is just relatively relatively simple so it all started in like a near future where with our main mc not even gonna pronounce his name um they're all categorized as numbers in a second but um yeah um the MC confessed, oh, confessed his crush, not not a shocker or anything, and then he has like a type of illness that's slowly killing him. So what does the our favorite MC does? You know, he goes into cold sleep, and soon when he um, is done with his cold sleep, that he is um, his illness could be cured, and you know he can be um, forevermore ever after with his you know with his um, childhood friend. You know, stereotypical stuff. You know, Are you with me so far? good so he's in this cold sleep and then he wakes up where the 99 percent of the world is ran by women because there is a virus that's called the mk the man killer virus that wiped away literally a hundred hundred percent of all men except for people like the mc and um his brother and like other men that have survived this cold sleep are just out and about like immune to that shit so you know what happens if there's 99.9 percent .9 of all women and only limited only like maybe three to four men on this earth so what is what is the whole entire plot is mainly the um the the government the government in japan is ran by women so it's like united united nation of women or whatever of japan they're like all right guys we're gonna um have our guys fuck every single women so that way you know population we get more male more um men and everything and we can you know start controlling or not or going back to society you know that's the initial idea that this anime wants to give you but it goes deep really deep into it we're trying to figure out about like creating a virus or an anti-vax or a vaccination that our mc is trying to do he is trying to uncover the secrets of like how did it all started and all that stuff um but yeah and the mc refuses to mate with any other female besides his childhood friend so that's a really big giga chad moan right there my man ain't no ain't no hole man he's only committed to the one person he wants to be with i'm like huge props and huge respect to my MC right there. He is literally my favorite, but you know, the most time when we get the screen time with him, it's just all about him trying to figure out the virus, trying to make a like um like a cure, like a vaccination, like a vaccine for that shit and everything, trying to cover his secrets. And um him with the other men that are categorized with numbers and everything, depending who wakes up first from their cold sleep are categorized by which number. Um yeah, all that stuff there his attendants are there to, just to make sure he's safe and everything because like you'll see like all the men like literally like maybe three to four guys are being treated like they're like the most important thing which they are because they carry you know s you know th the stuff to make babies so you know they're treated like with caution and everything and everything is just you know again ran by women so there is another um another thing that i like is just like the perspectives of how each man each of the guys are you know they are weak enough for their cold sleep and and how their previous lives were to compare it to now because they 
pretty much can you know do any girl that they want to do essentially so my favorite one uh, by far is doikun or number i think his his number is like three or four whichever or i like doikun because for some reason it's just like i like his character at, in the beginning when he was introduced and i like his backstory and everything doikun is like my favorite before he changed halfway through in the anime so i like doikon in the like in the beginning that he's trying to be innocent and everything to now it's just like yeah i'm gonna just fuck all the girls that i want so <laughs> so yeah so um there's a lot more with him and the mc so like most of the episodes are literally going back to back with doikon and the mc kirito kirito i think that was his name i think i think that's his name but what, what regardless it's honestly not that bad besides there is some explicit etchy scenes that are in here that i keep that for some reason this is an anime and not a hentai and it's like kind of confused confuses me a little bit but it's nonetheless enjoyable to watch with um besides you know the explicit etchy scenes they're in there the plot is relatively simple but it gets really intense in like the later last two or three episodes like it really like you know gets you well for me it gets me a little bit like oh my god like is this gonna like literally end how it is and yes hopefully it gets a second season not because i wanted to see you know the, the other specific reason why other people want to watch this but it's just more so with plot purposes and it's actually good i love you know the characters are already put there and everything and then you know mostly it's just by girls um you know they're they're okay you know they just they're playing the roles and everything so it's just like nothing much it's just like the the guys that are interest me with different perspectives of how they're being treated or how they're viewing this in their eyes knowing that they're the only guys that women can depend on because there's no other men in the world so you know yeah i'll give um worlds and harem like a, a good solid eight out of ten you know in my opinion because i think it is a good anime regardless if it was edgy extremely edgy or not but yeah that's just my thing let me know if you guys have watched worlds and harem let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if not that's okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is senegos 239 and i hope y'all have a wonderful morning night day evening whatever the occasion is please take care stay safe all that good jazz and whatever so yeah guys see ya